Hello, my name is Kurt Wieselmann and I'm here at Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. Today I'm going to show you how to make a jelly bean universe. All the things that you need are right here on the table. Black jelly beans, colored jelly beans, a scale to get the proportions right, a pot or a mixing bowl, a wooden spoon to stir up the universe, and then of course a jar or a fish bowl to hold the jelly bean universe. So when you think of the universe, you probably think of all the stars in the sky that you can see with your naked eyes or that people can see with a telescope. 50 years ago, scientists would have said, yes, that's it. There's nothing else to the universe but stars and galaxies. But today, we know better. So 95% of the universe is what scientists call dark matter and dark energy. That means for every star in the universe, there's 19 times the amount of mass and energy in dark, invisible stuff. So to make this clear what it means to have this much dark matter and dark energy, let's work on our jelly bean universe. To fill this jar, I need 200 ounces of jelly beans. So I started measuring before. This is my scale. These are 10 ounces of black jelly beans. And I already put 180 ounces in here. So let me just add this. So I have now 190 ounces of black jelly beans, which I now carefully put into the bowl right here. So, but what is actually dark matter and dark energy? What is this stuff made of? And how do scientists know that it actually exists? Well, through indirect observations. It's dark, it doesn't give off light, but dark matter influences the motion of galaxies, how the stars inside a galaxy rotate. Dark energy, on the other hand, influences how quickly the universe expands. It acts like an anti-gravitational force. It makes the expansion of the universe go faster and faster and faster. So that's why we know there's 95% of this stuff. And we don't know, don't know much else, except somehow dark matter, I think, tastes a little bit like licorice. Not bad, actually. So now it's time to add the luminous matter, everything that gives off light. So for that purpose, I have here colored jelly beans, and I need 10 ounces to add. So let's check. 10 ounces, and let's add them. Oh, look at this one. I found the jelly bean that has our sun in it. But this jelly bean not only contains our sun, but it represents about 100 billion stars in the Milky Way. And this jelly bean doesn't just represent our Milky Way. It represents at least 500 million galaxies in the universe. So let's put this back in. Oops, I hope I didn't cause an earthquake. From what we know, luminous matter, dark matter, and dark energy are spread across the entire universe. Hence, let's get to work and spread out the luminous matter in our pot. So now we can fill and finish our jelly bean universe. Let me grab this pot and move over. Let me make sure that I do not lose the Milky Way. Okay, let me make sure I get every single little bit of matter, whether it's dark or luminous.
Okay. Voila, that is our jelly bean universe. Amazing. And look at all the dark matter and dark energy in it.